Hey guys, it's Chris here, and today I've got um, some sort of design idea for your front door. Um, this is how it works. You walk up to the front door, right click on it, and you walk through it. Um, this happens because if you have a one clock or two clock, um, one block away from the door, have it flashing when it turns I think on it closes the door so as soon as you open it it will close behind you it's like a pressure plate apart from or a button apart from buttons keep it open for one second and so do pressure plates and if you don't want pressure plates the outside of your door in case of mobs or something then then they could walk right in because oops you could have this right click as soon as you walk through it closes behind you now you could have um it more than a one clock but what happens is it do it does like does that sometimes when closes straight away and sometimes it stays on for longer and it's kind of unreliable but one clock it's oops it uh, definitely oh my god um it definitely closes behind you and it's much always the same because of the small gap between it being on and off. And if you leave it like that, it just does that and spazzes out. And I don't really want that. So just a uh, just an idea. If you want, I could make a tutorial, but it's pretty easy. You just do your one clock. Make sure your repeaters are facing different ways. Redstone, um, either of these redstone things can be your output. Uh, to do it, you power it so it all goes off, and then you quickly get rid of a redstone and place a redstone that turns one of the repeaters off but leaves one of them off on. And the time it takes for it to power this one, you have to have got rid of it and placed another one. So that's how you start one. Though I I have found a way to start one um, more reliably than that, and I probably will be doing a tutorial on it soon. Um, thank you for watching. This has been Crisps. Bye.